Watch the space. Get ready for the sounds of all over the place. Coming up, Naomi has two heads. I mean, two heads. Lauren goes a bit hip hoppy. Chris turns a bit happy hippy. Johnny plans for world domination. Victoria's dance moves are a sensation. Michelle's driving skills are hard to beat. And Barney's bare feet get a proper treat. Our last day in Europe, Chris. And where best to spend it than Krakow, one of the oldest cities in Poland. Gets even better. I've just had a text from the boss. Apparently, we're going to be joined by a special mystery guest and we've got a show around all day. They'll be here any second. Oh, wow. Maybe it's a film star. Oh, or a football player. Or a supermodel. Oh. You all right, fellas? <laughs> God, do you mind? We're trying to figure out who the mystery guest could be. It's you, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well, I'm a top dog celebrity, you know. And because uh, I'm only small, I don't get to go the places you do. Uh, don't worry, mate. We'll show you around. <laughs> oh, we've got to choose music. Need a playlist. I like rock. Dodge likes reggae. Yeah, baby. And you only seem to like outer Mongolian folk music. Yeah. I mean, not the only thing I'm into. Maybe we could listen to the songs from the series. Yeah! Don't worry, the singing's going to get better. <laughs> Most of it. Guys, where are you going? All over the place. All over the place. <laughs> North, south, east, west, on a bizarre quest. Me and my mates, all over the place. It's true what you've heard, everything is absurd. Whatever we do is straight and true. <laughs> Chris, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just doing what explorers do when they're exploring. Oh. Tra -la -la. Look, Edwin, upon yonder horizon, it's the city of Krakow, home to... Didn't actually prepare any facts. Have you got something? Uh, well, it says here it's the second largest city in Poland and, oh, used to be the capital until the early 17th century. Wow. And what about this big hill thing that we're still on? Yeah, it's not a mole hill, is it? Because that must be one massive mole. No, this is the Kosciuszko Mound. Bless you. It was built in 1820 in honour of a Polish hero and people brought soil from all over Poland to make it this high. Yeah, well, look, if there is a mole in there, he better be ready for Dodge the Explorer, baby. Mate, I think you'll find that I'm the explorer. I've got the rambling stick. I've got the sandwiches in my bag. Wait, no, I didn't make the sandwiches. We don't have sandwiches. There are no sandwiches. Chris, Chris, <laughs> Chris, calm down. If you want to be a real explorer, you can listen to how Naomi and I got on in Norway. <sighs> now, let's get on, shall we? And no more tra -la -la Just a little bit. Oh, go on, then. Tra -la -la, tra -la -la. This song is all about the boats, about the boats. In two museums. And all about two blokes, about two blokes. Both Norwegians. All about the blokes who sailed the boats. So let's go see them. All about the boats, about the boat. Boat, 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 boat. The first museum is called the Fram. This boat was sailed by Amundsen. All of his life he had a goal. So he took on a new expedition to drift across the Arctic Ocean onto the Fram. He did hop. He measured under 40 meters from the bottom to the top. He set off telling people he was going north, but then he turned it round. He turned it round. Instead, headed for the South Pole. That was his secret plan. The Contiki. How on earth did this one stay afloat? Looks pretty leaky. The chances of survival quite remote. Let's take a peeky. All about this boat, about this boat. Boat, 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 boat. Tor Heyerdahl was an explorer who was keen on ancient culture. He wanted to prove his theory that the Polynesians' ancestors had sailed across the sea. And so he built this out of logs and at a speed of just two knots he sailed across the Pacific took a hundred and one days you've got to say that's quite a trip eight thousand 
thousand kilometers is a long way on a raft. Very, 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 very. And while on the journey, they came across a massive shark. Scary, scary, ooh, scary, scary. Tried to cross the Atlantic on a reed boat called the Raft. He didn't make it. He didn't make he it. He rebuilt and tried again. This time it sailed pretty far. This song was.
boats, about the boats. In their museums. And all about two blokes, about two blokes. Both Norwegians. All about the blokes who sold the boats. And now you've seen them. You know all about the boats, about the boats. <laughs> boat, 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 boat. How do you do that? It's just a gift. <sighs> Can't you two go any faster? <laughs> I can't. I can't even. Oh, I can't even speak now. <coughs> All this big explorer stuff is just. You know. Look, this is the only way we're going to see Varvel Castle on Varvel Hill. It's where the first rulers of Poland settled in the 10th century. Why couldn't they settle at the bottom of the hill? Well, it's strategic, isn't it? For 300 years, this was the seat of Polish power. Oh, that's good. As long as it's a seat, I'm fine. It doesn't even look much like a castle. Well, this is just the gateway. It was added in 1921 and displays the coat of arms from all nine lands that used to make up Poland. Yeah, that's great. But these cobbles are playing havoc with my tootsies, so if we could... Oh, and he's a big explorer, tootsies, Chris. <laughs> At least you've got shoes on. Me and Barney went to a park in Hungary where we weren't even allowed to wear shoes. Now, come on! <sighs> Dodger. No, I'm not giving you another piggyback. Not after last time. Oh, it still hurts, honestly. When you're walking down the street Take a quick look at your feet Tell me what is it you see mm -hmm. I don't know where do you tell me mm -hmm. You're wearing shoes and socks Now it's time to take them off Are you having a laugh? Mm -hmm. No, this is Barefoot Park mm -hmm. Yes, here in Taboy The idea that they had was to build a park that was designed to walk through with bare feet. So take off your shoes, 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 shoes. Which pathway shall we choose? Choose, 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 choose. What have you got to lose? Lose, 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 lose. Take them off, take them off. It's perfect for a stroll, 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 stroll. I hope it's not too cold, 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 cold. Just do as you are told, 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 told. Take them off. Take them off. It opened in 2010. And every year since then, people flock for miles around mm -hmm. to put their bare feet on the ground. Mm -hmm. You can walk on stumps or cones, or even sand or stones. You can even walk the plank. Mm -hmm. After you had banks, mm -hmm. there's over 20. Surfaces, that's plenty And it takes 30 minutes To complete the 800 metre path So take off your socks, 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 socks Check out these volcanic rocks, 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 rocks I hope they're not too hot, 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 hot Take them off, take them off Remove your foot, where, 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 where Wander around without a care, 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 care Barefoot in the open air, 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 air Take them off, take them off Just think that a quarter of all the bones in your body are down there Along with 33 joints, 90 muscles, 10 tendons and 107 ligaments That's a lot going on inside your feet Barefoot Park in Hungary, re, 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 re It's the only place to be, 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 be for your feet to feel free, 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 free. Let's head off, let's head off. Just a minute, Ed, hang on, 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 on. Where have our shoes gone, 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 gone? Are you having me on, 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 on? Afraid I'm not, afraid I'm not. Right then, Dodge, here we are at Varvel Castle. Wow. <laughs> Isn't it magnificent? From its castle towers, to its castle windows, to its castle castle-like castleness. Actually, that's Varvel Cathedral. The castle's over here. <laughs> Yonko, you bonko, you are. So, Ed, this cathedral, is it where people called Kath hang out? It's a church. For centuries, the Polish royal family had their coronations, weddings, funerals and stuff there. Oh. Hey, no wonder it's all weird shapes. It's built in different styles. It's medieval, Romanesque. In the 14th century, even had a gothic makeover. Oh, yeah, I once had a goth makeover, yeah. I wore black and had a nose ring. It's great till you sneeze, then it all gets clogged up with your... Uh, we don't need yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. It means gothic architecture. Mm. So it's not about moping around, listening to rubbish music and wearing eyeliner. Not quite. Oh. Almost as fancy as that village we went to, remember? Oh, yeah, Zalapi. That was in Poland, a bit further out. Actually, it was really far out. In 
the village of Zalepi they have a custom They've been painting patterns on things for generations It began in the 18th century And the results are here to see <laughs> Women whitewashed over soot stains so houses look clean but despite their efforts, dirty marks could still be seen. So they took their inspiration from the local vegetation. Brushes using hairs from a cow's tail And the okay paint tradition Is preserved in this museum <laughs> There's no fear that these patterns Will ever disappear there's a painted cottage competition every year Local artists come and take part Who will paint the winning wall art? See the flowers upon the wall So entrancing and colourful Love to sit and gaze at Just homes with a florid decor Beehives, fences, trees, stop indoors The village bridge has its own colour scheme <laughs> Everywhere you go it's like a technicolour Ah, oh, that was brilliant. Ed, have you got any more songs about buildings? Uh, well, Johnny and I did go to Belgrade in Serbia. That was brutal. Do you mean brutal as in... Well, wicked. Yeah? No, no, as in brutalism. Ah, it's the style of building we saw there. Although, the costumes are pretty brutal. Form specific functional zones Distinctly articulated Grouped together in a unified whole The Western City Gate Welcomes travellers to the city Two connected concrete towers Not what you'd call Traditionally pretty. Second tallest building in Belgrade. Deserted restaurant at the top. Imagine eating your sandwich with a hundred and forty meter drop. Brutalism modular. Brutalism angular. Brutalism spectacular. Brutal. But in 2010, it was remade. Or well, what about the Sava Center? A multifunctional architectural treat. A huge amount of floor space. 
and a theatre with 4,000 seats. Ooh. These residential skyscrapers, known as Block 61 and 2, designed to make the most of their spaces. I'd have come up with a more catchy name though, wouldn't you? Functional, brutalism, original, brutalism, exceptional, brutal. Buildings are made of these concrete, glass, brick, and steel. Travel the world, I think you'll agree. Brutalism is the real deal. So, what do you think of Poland so far, Dodge? <laughs> I hate dragons even more than I hate cats. Well, not almost as much. I mean, I really do dislike cats. Yes. Say hello to the Varvel dragon. Legend has it that an evil dragon called Smock used to once live in the caves around here. It'd fly around and breathe fire on people. <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh, Chris. Chris, you really are... You really are breathing something. What did you have for lunch? Ming pie? Ooh. Polish sausage, actually. Was a tad fruity. I could taste it. But the legend goes that Krakow was named after Krakus, the king who defeated that dragon. Mm. Although other legends say that it wasn't the king who defeated the dragon, but a local shoemaker. Yeah, yeah, well, whatever did it, Ed, he had it coming. Whoa, yeah. mate, mm. give over. It's only a statue. <laughs> Chris! Uh, it's a good job he didn't come to the Czech Republic with me and Victoria. Mm. This isn't the only town with legends about monsters. No! Stop hiding behind that granny! <laughs> this gothic city is home to legends, miserable and dark. If you're brave, then I could tell you the legends of Prague. Century, a Jewish rabbi worried no one would protect his people if he was to die. So he made the golem, moulded from clay, said some sacred words and came alive. Pretty scary, eh? No. The most terrifying monster Prague has ever seen. Essentially a monster that's made of plasticine. The rabbi destroyed his golem. Some say it has come back. Ooh, look, the film, the cafe after it. Fancy a snack. The knight whose partner he adored But in a jealous fit of rage He killed her with his sword With her last breath she cursed him To iron he was turned Only once every hundred years To human form he can be returned I need to know The stone boy. There was a young boy on a rooftop who was pulling a face. A priest saw him and then turned him to stone in his place. Ew. I could tell you the legend of the man who made this astronomical clock. He was blinded by a masked mob as there have been rumours that he was making a clock for another town. When he found out why he'd been attacked, he vowed revenge and visited the clock. And feeling his creation beneath his fingers, he was overwhelmed with sadness and destroyed it. At which point his heart broke and he fell lifeless to the floor. Ah, oh, that's really sad. Just the way I like it. Talking of legends, loads of cool people were born here in Poland. Like Marie Curie, she was born here in 1867. Oh, yeah. She was a pioneer in radiation research and the first woman to win the Nobel Prize. The Nobel Prize? <laughs> well, maybe she should get a bell, then she could win the Garbel Prize. <laughs> yeah, that was named after the Swedish inventor Alfred Nobel. It was awarded to people for coming up with brainy stuff. Well, that rules you out then, Chris. <laughs>
And Chopin, <laughs> the famous composer, he was Polish as well. That's true, he's the one who came up with them. Um, uh, I think I'm thinking of Justin Bieber. Right, let's get some lunch. Taxi! 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 Didn't have this problem with Michelle at Motorworld in Germany. Couldn't move for cars. Taxi! Taxi! Lately, Michelle, I've been losing sleep. Dreaming about the cars that we could see. Luckily, Ed, we are in Stuttgart. If there's one thing it's got, it's plenty of cars. This is the home of Mercedes Benz. Interesting fact, tell your friends, Carl Benz invented the first ever car. Only had three wheels, didn't get very far. It's old. 1886, only car on the road when it showed off its tricks. The first ever trip was a bit of a joke. Four laps of the track stall twice, then broke. I just want to take these cars on the autobahn. You can drive as fast as you like. On ones with no speed limit, so no cause for alarm. Everything I see just makes me want to drive. Germany, home of the Mercedes, Benz and Porsche here in Stuttgart Volkswagen, Audi, BMW If you're into vehicles it's the place, it's the place for you To see half a million visitors annually. Built on the site.